Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 10 of the Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough. So in this episode, we're just going over how to use the aquarium. So, in order to invent the aquarium, it's pretty easy. We just need a picture of the window, a wooden box, and we need to put grab a picture of the fountain. We put these three together and it makes the aquarium. So it'll show up here in your list. So now we just need five rolling logs, four gloss material, and 15 water elements. So boom, now we have the aquarium. So now I already have two fish, which is all we really need to kind of utilize it. You can have five or six in the aquarium at a time for the maximum, I believe. So we'll just put these two guys in there. Alrighty, so we can view the fish. They're both females, and they both have their stats here. So that's a lot of stamina, which is pretty good. So we're in a decent situation here for building up our fish for the finny frenzy. Okay, so what we're going to do first is move these these move these guys over to, I call them people. <laughs> I'm going to move these fish over to the battle tank, and we're going to look over there. So be careful, because... If they're not being weird, they're going to start attacking each other. And the reason you want them to do this is because it'll build up their stats. What I recommend doing is you open up your menu, you go to move to other tank, it doesn't matter which one you grab, and pay attention. When one of these fish starts to glow red, just spam move them over to the wreck tank, because they can actually like kill each other here. So let them fight until one of them starts flashing red. You'll see what we mean in a sec. Okay, so over back over to the wreck tank. When they're when they're st when they start flashing like that, it means they're gonna die soon. So there isn't really a way to kind of know what food they're going to love. If you give them some kind of food, they're either gonna have like a little musical note, which means that they ate it, or if they have a heart, it means that they loved it. And you can kind of just try and play around with that. But all of these are pretty much the same. Um, a carrot will actually change the gender of one fish. So we're going to actually do that for one of them. So we have a male Prisklene and a female Nonke. So now what we can do is move them over to the breeding tank. This is also one of the trophies, by the way. So the battle makes it so they uh, gain more stats. Feeding them makes them so they gain more stats. And breeding them will put stats together, make a new fish, and overall make your fish stronger. So you really just kind of want to be constantly fishing and breeding your fish and feeding them and making them battle each other throughout the game. So we're going to go to the wreck tank. Um, after they're first born, you need to feed them five or six times before you can breed the fish again with another one. See, there's just the music note, which means the Mimi is not this thing's favorite food. But it changes, because maybe the next time I feed him, he will like the Mimi. So, that's really all there is with the aquarium, so hopefully this helps. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.